I've lived here for 65 years. I'll never get tired of the view. My name is Robert Kraft. No, not that Robert Kraft. I'm better known as Raven. I've run eight miles here on Miami Beach every day since January 1st, 1975. You wanna know why? The story is pretty complex, so I suggest you read my book. Eight miles a day for 45 plus years is more than 133,000 miles. There's another guy from Miami who's run for more than 15,000 yards, not miles. And if you're not impressed, you should be. Because when he runs, it's with a football in his hand and a bunch of tacklers trying to take him to the ground. His name is Frank Gore. He's 37 years old, just a kid to me, but about as old as they get when it comes to running backs. And unlike me, he doesn't go by a nickname. Though there was a time early in his career when a couple broadcasters tried to give him one, based on a film about another guy named Gore. And here's Frank Gore the running in the Moochie Bowl. Truth, the inconvenient truth. The real truth is that nickname, like so many of the tacklers Frank faced in his career, breaks a tackle, breaks another! Breaks one tackle, breaks another! Just didn't stick. Frank goes right, got a hold of the 45, breaking tackles 40, down near side 30, cuts back, Gore's still going, and Gore is gone! Great job by Gore to make a man miss. Gore cutting left 50, Gore's still going to the 45, Frank Gore's still on his feet, breaking tackles. He just doesn't go down, you gotta bring him down. He's like, you wanna play big boy football, yeah. let's do it. Yeah. Clearly, Frank and I share a deep commitment to our craft, a passion to keep running. Me, up and down the beach. Him, up and down the field. Striving and striding to put the sand and the yard markers behind us. One step at a time, no matter the obstacles we face. How many times have I seen Frank run into a pile, disappear, and come racing out the other side? You gotta see it to believe it, Frank Gore! It was a work of art and I've lost track of how many hurricanes I've run through to keep my streak alive. Frank was a hurricane at the University of Miami, and at times his college career was a perfect storm of bad luck. While at the U, he tore the ACL in both of his knees. In 2018, he was inducted into the U's Hall of Fame. I wish, you know, my mom was here, but I know I know she's smiling down on me. I know she He reflected on all that he'd overcome and who helped him along the way. Last but not least, my running back coach. <laughs> coach Saul. Because I remember when I told my second ACL, I told him, Coach, football not for me. And he told me, Elf, bro, you crazy. My goal to make sure you get to the NFL, and I promise you, you're going to do big things. And coach, I did. And I want to say thank you, man. Frank never had a thousand yard rushing season at the U. In the NFL, he's had nine of them. He spent 10 years in San Francisco and left following the 2014 season as the 49ers all-time leading rusher. In recent years, his uniform has changed often, but he hasn't. Touchdown, Frank Gore! You're a great player, man. You're a great player. You tackle your ass. Oh, You're a great man. player still. I love you. And as he kept running, he also kept climbing up the NFL's all-time rushing list. Frank Gore just passed Jim Brown. And this guy passes probably the greatest of all time. And it's a feat that only gets done because of freaking hard work, dedication, passion, toughness, grit, perseverance, resolve, and love for this freaking game. Congratulations, Frank Gore. Yeah. I know you're going to make the right decision. Hall of Fame running back. 
Frank Gore, number four all time. He just passed Curtis Martin. And Frank Gore has just attained 15,000 rushing yards. He has just run into NFL history, the third all-time leading rusher in pro football history. If you find it shocking that he's third on the NFL's all-time rushing list, you're probably not alone. Like me, the two guys above and below Frank Gore on the all-time list are all known by one name. Emmett, Walter, Barry, Adrian. For some reason, Frank doesn't carry the same clout, but Gore made a name for himself without caring about notoriety. And when he joined his hometown Dolphins in 2018, three years after I received the key to the city of Miami Beach, Frank received the key to the city of Miami. You don't get the keys to the city and you don't get a proclamation for being a great football player. You get it for being a great Miami, for being a great person. When I was a kid, uh, you know, standing in a one bedroom apartment with 12 people and, you know, still overcoming all the, the negative things I had to deal with in life. As a kid, Frank had a severe form of dyslexia and he's always been a private, soft-spoken person. He's preferred to let his actions do his talking. Maybe that's why, unless they see him running with the football, the casual fan might not recognize him. Hello, player number 20. He's yeah, so Frank Gore, so he is um, a legendary running back. So he's in his, in his 30s, but he's in the Hall of Fame. But the greats of the game sure know who he is. Boy. Boy, you keep running, man. Man, you keep running. Hey, you doing a hell of a job. This guy here, man. I been watching you since Miami, since way back in the day. I tell you what, what about Gore? I saw how did I him earlier, man. He's done a little work on it. A stud, man. A stud. They got a place for him in Canada. Yes, sir. Oh, ain't no question. I agree with Bruce Smith and presume that someday Frank will end up in the Hall of Fame. But before he takes that trip, he has to do something he and I just aren't ready to do. Stop running. It's not a race, it's about the chase, it's about the moments that take you away. It's not the pace, it's not a place. In the end, you get what you gave. So run, don't ever look up. Though I never felt like either one of us was in a race, perhaps we are approaching the finish line. I don't know how much longer we'll keep running, but I can guarantee we're both going to close strong. <laughs>